Slap your hands together for Torb the Roach and Floppy McSpace. You're watching Behind the Funk, your favorite music show. And today, people, we got a special treat for y'all. We're going to get a deeper look into the making of this vinyl record. Sazam! They put together a movie that just might turn your ass crazy. Rotate and see what happens. This is Floppy McSpace. His interests are as modest as they are customary amongst intelligent life forms. He loves to drink coffee, knit, do home aerobics, swim, ski. He also enjoys gardening, cloud watching, and conversing with animals in the neighborhood. But all you really need to know about Floppy is that he was the best Floppy maker in town. He was an avid collector of sounds. He had perfected the art of finding the sonorous and melodious in the most unexpected of places. Much like a master chef, the whole, embodied in his finished floppies, was always greater than the various odd ingredients that he blended in the cooking process. McSpace's trademark was high quality homemade floppies with rumbling bass and hard hitting drums. He sold his floppies at his store, McSpace's Flopperia. The Flopperia's customers came from far and wide, but primarily it was a popular spot amongst the small town's music lovers. One of its most frequent customers, Torb, never once thought of shopping floppies elsewhere. Torb loved spending late nights jamming on the synthesizer the dubbing floppies he had caught from McSpace's flopperia. small-town life, but his pleasant day-to-day -day routines were abruptly disrupted one day, the day the monolithic music corporation Full Flop moved to town. With the intention of establishing a Floppinopoly, Supermaster, the owner and CEO of Full Flop underpriced his already cheap mass-produced floppies. <laughs> Through economic warfare, manipulation, hypnosis, and brute force, Supermaster had already crushed all competition in neighboring towns. Now he was coming for Floppy McSpace and his famous flopperia. Floppy was on 
his way down from the summit upon which his flopperia was perched. He was badly injured in a skiing accident. Though recovering physically, a traumatic brain injury caused by the accident left Floppy with amnesia, and he was unable to recall his secret Floppy Disc recipe. His every attempt at Floppy making resulted in some other strange format. It wouldn't play on a turntable, and it definitely didn't fit the SP. McSpace tried everything. He looked deep into the SP, but couldn't find any answers. It was with a very heavy heart that McSpace closed his shop. <laughs> Super Monster, on the other hand, rejoiced at the Flopperia's sudden downfall. <laughs> Laughing aloud as the vile beast he was, Super Monster gleefully reflected on how he finally had a Flopinopoly in town. <laughs> Having lost his ability to make floppies, and having to close down the flopperia, Floppy McSpace could see no reason to live on. He was in a state of such despair that he wished to end his life. Minded and overwhelmed by emotion, Floppy spilled coffee all over his SP-1200. <laughs> Suddenly, he started spitting out Floppies. McSpace couldn't believe his eyes. The Floppies were made of gold. He inserted a golden floppy into the SP. Inhaling deeply, he counted to four and pressed play. Floppy had ever heard. He tested the floppies on all different kinds of sound systems and completely lost his head in the music every time. And it wasn't long until Floppy McSpace and his golden discs were on everybody's lips. McSpace was hot and everybody wanted a piece of him. he could produce cheap replicas. So wherever Floppy went, 
Supermaster followed, always in the shadows watching, but avoiding being seen. <laughs> One night, while Flappy was nestled all snug in his bed, Supermaster <laughs> snuck in and attempted to steal Flappy's golden discs. <laughs> Sensing trouble, McSpace awoke with a start. <laughs> Supermaster managed to escape with the discs, but with Flappy in hot pursuit. By chance, Supermaster passed Torp, who was sitting on his favorite bench dubbing Flappy's. Flappy managed to explain the situation to Tor, who pointed in the direction that Supermaster had fled, and they both took off after him. Flappy caught up to Supermaster. A violent battle ensued. had been shattered in the altercation. Floppy was devastated. In a desperate attempt to recover some golden disc sounds, Floppy and Torb dropped the disc fragments into a pot and added tape from the space echo to properly bind the mixture. Determined, yet unsure what to expect, they dumped the concoction into the oven to bake. Torb and Floppy had no idea what was going on. had synthesized, resulting in a vinyl record. Not even in his wildest dreams had Floppy ever imagined making something with such a high sound quality. Swimming to the skiing accident in that in that thing with the coffee that turned into a miracle and, and the fight that fight that epic fight. Hey yo, and from what I heard, you managed to cook a mold and stuff? Moe coffees? For real? Incredible. By the record! Motherfuckers!
Change your name, boy. Change your name, man. Floppity McSpace shit. Doofus, you're worthless. Sit up straight. What's wrong with you, boy? He's special. <laughs>